This week, Republicans in the Pennsylvania House announced legislation to target wasteful spending and fraud. They say ineligible recipients for some state programs are costing taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars each year. WENY State Capitol correspondent Brendan Scanlon has more details from Harrisburg. Conversations held at the recent round. According to House Republicans in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania is facing a structural deficit. House Appropriations Committee Republican Chair Seth Grove says the state is also experiencing a demographic crisis. Our population continues to age and workforce continues to shrink. Grove and House Republicans are looking to make state programs like Medicaid more efficient instead of raising taxes. Over the last 20, 23 years, we have seen a decline in population. Yet we have seen an increase in Medicaid by 2.4 million participants. Representative Clint Owlett says ineligible Medicaid recipients are a growing concern and are costing the Commonwealth. It's 725,000 people who, and that's a conservative estimate of how many people in Pennsylvania are receiving Medicaid even though they are not eligible. These ineligible recipients cost $500 million to over a billion dollars a year to our taxpayers. House Republicans plan to reintroduce a package of bills that mirror federal programs and laws like the Federal False Claims Act. It would allow Pennsylvania to recoup an additional 10 percent from false claims made against Medicaid during national settlements. This is an important bill to ensure that our programs are run efficiently and dollars are spent for our most needy, not uh, siphoned off through fraudulent actors. Some of the bills passed the House in prior sessions with bipartisan support, but never made it across the finish line in the Senate. House Republicans are hoping for a better outcome this session. At the state capitol in Harrisburg, Brendan Scanlon reporting. And WEMY News reached out to House Democrats for a statement on the legislation. We're still waiting to hear back. When or if we do, you can find their statement and more information on our website, WENY.com.